So in my clinic practice, when I try to prescribe pregabalin, which goes by the brand name of Lyrica for restless leg syndrome, patients are often concerned about side effects that include dizziness or drowsiness. But one surprising one is weight gain. So what are the effects of pregabalin on weight gain in patients with restless leg syndrome? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and this week's topic is weight gain with pregabalin. Alpha-2 delta ligand medications, including pregabalin, are now considered a consensus first-line medication in the treatment of restless leg syndrome. But patients are sometimes hesitant to take pregabalin because they have heard that it may cause a gain in weight. Well, this is, this is really a true concern, but how weighty is this concern? Well, the mechanism of weight gain is largely unknown particularly with these seizure-like uh, medications. Could it be fluid retention, meaning putting on just water weight? Could it be effects of increased appetite? Could it be decrease in metabolism? It doesn't seem like anyone knows at this point, but the numbers are real. And, and I do don't want to bore you, but I could go over a few studies. None of these is in restless leg syndrome, but in epilepsy where pregabalin was originally used for. Chen's group in 2015 had a, a re review study of about 1,900 patients and about 8.4% gained weight with epilepsy. Uh, this has been seen in, in other studies as well. In 2012, Cabrera's group looked at 43,000 patients and about five-sixths of them stayed within 7% of their body weight up to one year but one-sixth of them did gain more than 7% of weight while on pregabalin as a treatment. Uh, more recently, uh, Poppin and others in 2021 uh, did a study of 77 veterans who were treated with neuropathy over a longer period of time, 12 months to 18 months, and the weight gain was only on average of about three pounds, so it wasn't a huge amount. Now, Hamandi had a review paper of several uh, epilepsy trials in 2006, and there was roughly a 9% increased risk of weight gain over placebo, but on average it was about one to two pounds. And it was actually double the risk at 600 milligrams compared to 150 milligrams. So that's a lot of data. But the bottom line is it seems like in the ballpark of about 10% of patients gain weight. Whether the amount of weight is significant is going to vary in terms of the individual and the dose of the drug. Fortunately for most patients with restless leg syndrome, they are using doses of pregabalin that are much less than people with severe types of epilepsy. So that's the good news. And if the drug works, this might be one of those things to deal with. There are definitely countermeasures against weight gain, things like better sleep quality, increase in exercise, better lifestyle choices, reducing processed food, cutting out added sugars, etc., that can combat any small weight gain that's caused by a drug such as pregabalin. But the, the weight risks are there. They do seem to be real. And again, as all things in terms of medical treatments, you have to weigh, no pun intended, the cost or the risks and the benefits of any treatment. And it has to be individualized to you as the patient. So as a reminder, again, all decisions should be made under the guidance of a licensed medical professional. And this video is only for general medical information only. And one of the keys to sleeping well, as always, is to relax.